Good morning guys. We are back out here next morning and today is finally the day. I get to show you the wife's reaction to series gray. So those of you just tuning in for this build, we downsized the build on the car. It has one of our stage three motors in it, which I'm sorry for the lighting there. If you don't know what the, our stage three motor is, it's just a factory Subaru case motor with forged pistons and rods. We have a set of Air P625 head studs in this thing. And we have a set of our stage three heads with BC 280 cams. The thing looks awesome. ETS five inch intercooler, ETS twin scroll turbo kit with a Garrett GTX 3582R. This thing does have a pretty large exhaust housing of 1.15, so it is a bit lazy. Um, we have looked at changing that over to a 0.82, guys. I know you've been commenting about that. So definitely we have talked about it. Um, I probably will end up changing this turbo over to 0.82 housing because for the power level that we're doing i don't think it's really going to matter since this motor is only rated for 500 wheel on a lower reading mustang usually the limit of this block i keep getting asked is five to 600 you know 550 600 on a dyno jet is pretty realistic that's about the end of the limits for a stock case and right now i'm putting a plug in the downpipe because i pulled the wide band out of here to go tune that legacy over there which that thing's all done all finished up you guys are going to be seeing stuff on that car here soon as well and oh boy i probably should wear glove because well it's a turbo blanket and guess what it has fiberglass son of a bitch but i got this plug in so screwing her in please don't have fiberglass all over my hand because that's gonna suck that would be one way to start the day off oh yeah we're screwed definitely screwed Okay, you guys know I usually don't do anything without gloves, so pretty surprised I'm even doing this right now, but I didn't want to go grab a set of gloves. And the ones that we have right now, because I suck at order my mine, have freaking powder in them. Like, what the hell? Oh, come on. No, yep. God, I'm struggling with this. All right, there we go. That thing's in. Now, you know what we gotta do, what's left. Cold start for the boys. Let's start this thing up. This thing is on E85. And I'm, I mean, it's not really that cold outside. It's probably, if I had to guess, 80 degrees, 75 degrees this morning. Pretty warm, but let's see how she does. I've yet to do this on E85 yet. Oh, perfect. up here that's close guys 77 degrees man this freaking uh twin scroll header is so loud it almost makes you think that the car has an exhaust leak and maybe the manifold is cracked somewhere and i haven't found it but i haven't seen anything black down there for like exhaust that's going on to the car but definitely when it's cold guys this thing is so loud there's only thing i don't really like about it because it sounds like you have a freaking broke ass car with an exhaust leak but I don't, and I've looked, and I've retightened that thing multiple times, but you can hear it. The Q300, sounding mighty nice, as always. Nice and tame. Yeah, we got the white, finally ready to go. Whoa. No? Whoa. Ready to feel your power. This is the most power that she's ever had in her personal car. She's obviously driven more and she likes to call everything slow. You know, everyone comments that. How's that feel? Freaking sucks. No, she's just broken. Shit, I gotta move the truck. Well, that's not gonna work. I gotta move the dang truck. Then we can pull this thing out. And I'm gonna insert the clip now from the other day so you guys can see. A little bit insight before we go out driving with the white you can see when we put e85 in this for the first time so let's jump to that and then we'll get out there guys you knew i couldn't just put e85 in the car and not go out and tune it Woo! tune this thing she's all finished up on e85 this 
thing made some freaking sauce, guys. This made a power. So, first pull I did, no changes, just E85, and changing, obviously, the injector scale for E85. It made 521 and 442. So, a little bit over, obviously, what we made before, which was 482 on pump gas. Then I went ahead and upped the boost 30 pounds on this. It made 597, 517 foot-pounds. So, you know me. I said I was going to make 6, 650. So I turned it up a little bit more. I turned it up 32 pounds, tapering up to 34 pounds up on the very top. And it made 643 and 551, guys. Right at my freaking target of what I wanted to make of this poor little stage three. So here the graph is, guys. Turned out awesome. Super happy of it. Hopefully this is clear enough, you'll see the numbers. And as soon as I get a clear point here, I'll do a little pole ski for you guys. Man, I cannot wait to get the wife's reaction on this. This is gonna be freaking awesome. So, you may not be seeing this in the other legacy video, because I don't want to spoil for you guys. But, let's see how this thing freaking does here. I'm gonna send it as soon as I get this straight point. I'm trying to hold this camera too for you guys. All right, here we go.
always tell you guys, those things are really butter, the flat foot chip. You can just do it like stock car driving. Alright, now let's redeem yourself here. <laughs> you gonna do first gear? I don't know. Okay, turn traction show off because the car was all over. Click and hold. Track mode. Alright. Yeah, I can do first. I don't know. I haven't done a burnout in a really long time. Oh either. fuck, we're doing a burnout? Oh, I wouldn't no do it burnout? on these tires. Okay, so just go. Yeah, we're on a drag radials, guys. No burnout? Really hard on the drivetrain. This thing will be wheel there hopping everywhere. Ugh. Oh, geez.
putting that 8500 on them shifts. You need to get quicker at your shifts, bud. Life up in the fast lane Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground